What's up everyone, Coach Otaku here and welcome back to another episode of Retro Time and in today's episode we're going to be playing some more classic games and the game we're going to be playing today is not the best game but it's it's okay I mean uh, it's alright we're going to be playing a game called Sonic 3D Blast this is going to be either good or hell I've played this game a couple of times right and it's okay but sometimes it can get really annoying, and I'm also just going to change the background quickly on that. Because uh, I don't like that. See the grid background there, I don't like that. Uh, I like the Streets of Rage one because it's relaxing. Alright, uh, there we go. I like how on this you can actually just play the game like this. Where you can look at the TV as if you're looking at it. But we're going to put it on full screen because fuck looking at it. Alright, so let's describe this tale. Now, there is one cool thing about this game. I do like this intro. Oh, wow. Oh. Holy sh that is pixely. I swear this game got remade on Saturn or Dreamcast or whatever console it was. I swear they made this game again, but I doubt it. I'm not really sure. I don't know much about this game, actually. I surprisingly. I know I've been talking about older games, but not this one. All I know is that every time I played it, I kind of hated it. But I also loved it. Oh, this is some nice loading screen music. It's going to the sound test for some reason. Where's it? Wait. How the f- Ah, there it is. Oh, see, this has got some good music. Did you know that one of the songs for this game got reused and, um... Sonic Chronicles, which was a really, it was an okay DS game, in fact, if I ever get a DS recorder and I find that game again, I will definitely do gameplay of that. Sonic Chronicles was pretty good. Just, I just hope I could solve the ice puzzle better than that again, because there was an annoying puzzle in it. I will say one thing, this game's got decent music. That's one of the songs right there, that song got put in Sonic Chronicles, um, and it's a really catchy one. That's the special one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I like that one, that's a cool song. You know? Alright, anyway, enough of, enough of that. How about we actually play the game? Here we go! Look at these are mysterious birds. They live in another dimension and can travel anywhere through large rings. See, this game kind of talks about the flicky sort of like the little birds that Eggman tries to capture all the time. And it's pretty good because you get to learn why the hell he's actually trying to capture them all the time. Robotnik learns about the flickies. I will change the flickies into the robots and have them stick for the chaos emeralds. For me, using the infinite power of the emeralds, I can conquer the world. I wish I could do an Eggman voice. Sonic visits Flicky Island to see his friends, but the only thing he finds are robots. I love the way the robots look, they look so goofy. Oh no. Sonic's face is just like, whoa, what's going on here, dude? Robotnik made my friends like this. I must stop them. Remark, it must be stopped. Sonic starts to defeat the enemies in order to rescue the flickies that are trapped inside. Like, I love how the game gives you like a little tutorial without giving you a tutorial. <laughs> Go, Sonic. You can work through the big rings with the help of the flickies. Chase after Robotnik and defeat his plans. Sacrifices in order to get through the portal. I fucking love this. Why the hell do mo why the hell do games not have cutscenes like this anymore? That was actually a great cutscene. Now I'm i I'm called to play it. Do I play this with a D-pad or do I play this with a circle pad? Okay, hold up. Oh so that's how you roll. Wait a minute, is that how you roll? Oh, is there seriously no way to spin dash on this? What the fuck? Anybody watching this, I will never do a full let's play of this. Just understand that and if anybody's watching us who was watching a batman let's play i would do more episodes of that but the thing is when it comes to editing that and when it also comes to like making the episode itself i need to think of a lot of stuff to talk about during that and the only thing to talk about right now is me bitching about things like oh, we got this guy did this and this guy did this and no one would know who i was talking about so let's not do that without 
And also, the Batman Arkham video didn't get too many views. I'm not the kind of guy who makes videos and gives a damn about views, but the thing is, I like playing the Batman Arkham games, but because of the amount of editing I would have to do, right? I'm also not lazy when it comes to editing, if people are probably going to say that in the comments, like, oh, just do it. But the thing is, I've played the game before, and I don't want to play a game that takes too long to play either, because then I'd have to play that, do levels in Fortnite, and a few other things. So I was like, no, I'm not going to. See, I kind of wish I did more videos like this when I was off, because when I left school, I had a decent amount of time off. And I should have done more content like this, but I like this little mini series, this little retro time series, because it's just me dicking them out in the games I used to play constantly. Because when I had my Xbox 360, which I got, um, I had a, I used to have an Xbox 360, but then I bought it again. Some years know. When I had that, I used to play the Sega Mega Drive collection on it all the time, and they were just great games to play. And I also had one of those at game Sega consoles. I still have two of those. Probably three if I can find the, the really old one. Less only if I did have two. But the thing is, the at games one was just, oh. The music was terrible in it, and. But the good thing was, you could plug in an actual Sega. A Sega um, cartridge. I don't know why I'm stuttering halfway into the conversation of these videos, but these little gun things are fucking annoying. I wonder if we can find tails in those little channels. Hitting that box is more annoying than it looks. That's a mine, we're gonna ignore that. Let's we'll, we'll see what's down here. Tails! Hey Tails! Where are you, buddy? Sonic! Oh, it's great, he's not there. Alright, well, back up the ghost on it. Alright, Wills. Oh! Secret! Oh! Alright, right. That's awesome. That's actually awesome. I've played this game so many times I didn't even know there was a secret wall. <sighs> what the fuck? Wait, there's a sweet in here. Where does this cannon go? Can I go inside that? Surely I must be able to go in that cannon because they won't have it there. Let me in! There we go, I'm in. Where does it take you? Knuckles! Knuckles! You took my rings. You you a kinda you a kinda wanker, you took my rings. That asshole took all my rings, I've got the hate Knuckles you He mugged me! I got robbed by Knuckles! Knuckles you asshole! Hey, how about you give me more rings? I, I wonder if he does like a special stage like Tails, but I think you've known Knuckles was in this game. That's actually awesome. Maybe I'll screenshot that and make that a thumbnail possibly. Mm -hmm. What I hate about... I was using Share Factory Studio to edit some of these videos and there's actually something I hate about Share Factory Studio. Uh, when I do the editing with it, if I make a thumbnail, it sometimes won't pop up as my thumbnail and that can be annoying. Okay, let's go here and pick up some of these rings. I like the... I li See, the thing is, I actually like the wee stage design sort of of this game. And I think it would be a great project if a bunch of developers would go back to this game and actually make it so it works a little bit better. Because there's people doing that with Sonic 06, and it's going well with that. And I would play that if I had a PC or whatever you need to actually get that. Cause like, I've seen all these cool like Sonic fan games that I really want to do like videos and stuff like that. And it's like, I love, I love looking at all these little fan projects that people do and I'm like, damn that's so awesome. But then it's like, I can't play it either because I don't have the equipment to do that. Oh shit, I almost got hit by the mine there. Let's go here. And let's go hit this little ring. But uh, what I was saying earlier about the Batman thing. I will play games that I enjoy and make content of it. I will not be playing... I do play some popular games that come out, right? Like, for example, I could have bought Spider-Man 2 this year, right? And played that as soon as it came out, and I could have been like, Oh, guys, Spider-Man 2, man, and all that. And acted like all hyped about it and be like, yeah. But then again, I was like, no, I don't want to play Spider-Man 2 now, and 
I haven't bought it yet either, it's just like... So, instead I'll play these games, the ones I can, like, shit. But I did enjoy the Spider-Man games, I played the Miles Morales one and that one was pretty fun. I used to do this little challenge with a friend of mine where we'd see who could beat the game first because she could literally beat it in a day, it was fucking great. Boom. What's over here? Yup. Oh, it's more of these little turret guys. Can you hit the boxes by doing this? <gasps> you can! Where's the enemies? I'm Jesus now. Tails! Oh, Tails is gonna rob us as well, watch. I think you need like 50 rings of 30 or something. To... I've done it before the special stages, but... Fuck, fuck that. It's a casual Sonic 3D game thing. I don't know if you guys something. To anyone who like watches my videos for each and every video I've watched, like anyone who actually like constantly tunes in to watch my content. I know one of my friends Lee and then the other prudent watches most of my videos and Oh shit I died. <laughs> no! Sonic! Well Tails, guess that's just how it is. Not focusing on this, I was just rambling a bit. But as I'm saying, anyone who like actually watches the videos and enjoys them, thank you. And, uh, again, for anybody who's like, where's the Let's Play series at and stuff? I don't know if anybody like waits for like part twos and that, but if I don't make a part two or something, it's either because I can't think of anything to do with the game, or it's because I'm thinking of a commentary. Or it could just be, um, it could just be that I don't want to play the game anymore. It could be as simple as that. Because sometimes I'm just playing the game and I'm like, fuck it, how do you dodge those? Sanchu. I don't know what I about this guy who created this thing called Sonny Chu or whatever in this goofy history. It's pretty funny. Oh, Is that an enemy or is that just a really annoying obstacle? How do you get those? If anybody knows how to get one-ups like that, please comment that. I want to know how to get them. Because you can't jump high enough, but there has to be a way to get that, surely. Maybe it's like a type of power-up or something. I swear this is like where the Eggman boss is going to be. Please don't be, because I really don't want to do a boss fight. What's down here? Hales, you're not robbing me this time, I'm not giving you my rings for a highway robbery. No. Bing. There's a gun that killed us earlier. Oh, it's another secret. Hold on. I I should collect this before the boss fight. How did... I love this game totally. Wait, what's in here? Oh shit, there's a little secret right here. I struggle to control this game so much. That's like my only complaint with this game is controlling it is a nightmare. Oh, I got one up. I think. Did I get my life spark? I could actually go to Tails right now and do the special stage. So I'm giving me a tea bag here. I love giving people tea bags. So I'm a nerdy boy. Oh, I hate that! <sighs> Stop, get, get out of here, you flicky! I spoke too soon. I gotta kill that enemy while I've got the invincibility. Oh, you're joking, there's still another one. I wonder if I got if I was fast enough to get to the boss fight with this. At least nowhere. Bring! <laughs> Best. But I like how in the comics Flucky Island pops up. It's like, they haven't forgotten about the game, but I don't know. I'm genuinely wrong, I should say. They won't even put this game in like any of the collections, because I don't think in the new Sonic game, not Superstars, but the one before that, that was only the first level. For 7 minutes and 52 seconds it took for me to beat the first level. Tails and Knuckles buff up that way. 
I can't believe that was actually the first level, like, holy shit. I really need to find somebody to, like, do videos like this with. I really want to do, like, what I actually really want to do with these kind of videos is kind of do, like, the little game chat show type things. I kind of want to do, like, a Game Grumps kind of thing, if anybody's ever seen that, or... These other group of YouTubers I used to watch, The Basement, I think they were called. They did, like, cool game content. I watched them play, like, the original Zelda at one point in some Breath of the Wild videos they did. But I want to kind of, like, get someone to, like, talk to while I play games like this and they play it as well. Or someone to, like, make a bunch of jokes with. Because the giggles is, like, the best part of these kind of games. You just sit there and giggle and making a bunch of jokes, like, Look, Sonic was... Shit. Look at the way Sonic jumps, so he's just like, whoa! As soon as he gets hit, he's like, ah, packs away, like, oh, dude, don't swing too hard. Come on. Oh, you're joking, I'm serious, I can't get hit into it. There must be, like, some secret platform or something. There has to be a way to get that. Maybe I'll, like, drop from somewhere and get it. I'm missing one. But if I find that, I can progress. Uh, no, I can... I feel like Tails is going to be hidden somewhere, but let's go get this. Eggman boss, maybe? Huh? Where's my birds? Where everybody's... What the hell? I freed them. What are you doing? Oh, no! I bet the game's done this on purpose. I feel like the game's done this on purpose because they don't want you one shot an Eggman with invincibility maybe. If this is the Eggman fight, please don't be. Ah no it's not. I like the little look so the looks look cool. Why is it taking them out of action? I can see where they were going with this game on the design. What they were trying to do. I don't actually want to play this entire thing, no. But the level design's a bit repetitive, sort of, as well, because... It's like they kind of copy and pasted it. Oh no, please don't tell me I've got to kill that. But you know how to hit that. Oh, there we go. Those things are annoying. Alright, let's see what else is out here, like... Right? Ooh! This box do? I feel like the speed boost box is like useless. I actually kind of want to see some speed run this now. There's probably some guys beat it in like 10 minutes somehow. I love watching speed runs of like people just beating stuff in like 10 minutes. And it's, it's great. Like a Mario 64 speed runs are crazy. Along with Ocarina of Time, I love those two games and I really want to do a video of those two. Because, uh, I liked playing those Nintendo 64 games and if I could get a recorder for my Switch as well, like, I think it's another screen recorder. Because with PlayStation, right, Nintendo's got it as well, but instead they only save 30 second clips, which is fucking annoying. But with PlayStation, you can tap one button, have a mic, and then just talk, and then post a video and edit it. And that's so helpful, because I've been able to do gameplay videos because of that. And my channel, because for ages, uh, I was just posting like videos using my phone and then my tablet and then my tablet can't post on YouTube anymore and phone as well. Oh! The flickies get it for you! That's how you get those one-ups. Shit. I love this game. I actually like this game now a little bit. I already like that but I like it more now. Let's go in here. I hate the, uh, I hate the clunky controls though. Oh, I should probably, I should do a review. I should probably like, give the Sega Mega Drive Classics a review thing. But that's the one thing I hate about this. If they ever make another Sega Mega Drive Classics collection, please do not fucking do this. See, when you like fast forward, it does this stupid thing here. This is why I like buy emulators and stuff. Or I like use emulators instead. 
because the emulator's fast forward feature doesn't do that, it just pops up in the corner of the screen with like a little fast forward symbol. Kind of like Final Fantasy VII's, um, the old ones, like, fast battle mode. Because when I was playing that um, on the PlayStation, I noticed that if you wanted to fight faster, it would pop up with like, a little arrow. Kind of like Honkai as well. It's great. I should probably try and do some videos on that game, I just haven't because I wouldn't be going into it blind because I have played it on my alt account and I couldn't film on my alt account and me and my friend Prudent had lots of giggles playing that. Shit. There we go. Well, these robots want to kill me. Sonic, why did you take the robot suits off us? They were powerful. Sorry birds, but I can't have you speak. Fun fact, if you jump through the ring here with the book you've collected, you won't you won't lose them and you won't have to recollect them as well. Which means you can actually just run about there and look for the other one. Where's this last robot? My eyes must be playing tricks on me. Oh baby, where are you hiding? Oh my, where are you off to, Dana? Where's this last robot actually hiding? I'm checking every corner in case I've just not seen it. Oh shit, I hate those comments. Oh, it's alive! No, I didn't time to jump! Come on! Oh! This thing's gonna kill me. Ah, ah, still a shoe. <gasps> no! Leg it! Leg it, Sonic! No! I've run out of stuff to set sort of now, but let's go for this little portal here. Like two days off and all I've done is grind Fortnite straight up. I've been trying to find so many ways to grind I'm like, maybe this will help me grind my Fortnite. Maybe this will. I'm like, no. And then there's all these people who found an XP collector and I was like, no, I can't do that. Oh shit, here he comes. Oh, you're joking, I just started shooting the battle straight away with no health. Oh no. Oh. Oh no! Oh my! Oh no! Take that! No! I hate this. Okay, I'm just playing this with a control stick against Eggman. I don't know how people play this with a D pad. Ah! Oh, run, Sonic! I'm going to kill you, Sonic! He actually threw the way to make that ball weapon effective! Sonic. You must steal a few more hits to me to defeat me. It's so hard getting hits on them. I, I actually can't even tell if I'm hitting them or not. That's the worst part. I can hear like a little wax sound effect that. That's a hat! I mean, I haven't even hit them yet. No way! Boss fight's gonna be difficult, boys. I've beat this guy before, I have beat him before, right? Alright. Do it! It's just a matter of patience and also hoping that the controls don't, like, get too clunky. Ah, oh, I missed it! Piss off, Eggman! Go, go pick up your ball sack! How does that not count as a hit? I'm right in front of him! Pick up your ball. Yeah, take that. Take that, you old bitch. Oh, oh. Every, every move, I'm frightened of every step I take in this boss battle. Yeah. It's actually, it's actually intense as hell. No, please. Ah. Run, Sonic. Down. Fuck. Shit. Go. <laughs> That's right, pick it up. Oh, it feels like... Oh. Oh, I gotta get out of here! Oh. Eggman! That's enough! Oh, well, that, 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 that was close there. Yes! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That took a minute and 20 seconds. Uh, I'm not sure surprised it. Alright, we're at Rusty Bruins on there, and I think we're probably going to stop the film if we hear that, right? 
Um, if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and possibly subscribing. And um, if you want to see me play this game again, comment and just ask and I will actually play it again. This was actually not a bad game, but this was kind of the back where I stopped playing on my first ever playthrough because I was like, what do I do now? But apart from that, I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day, everybody.